Uh, good morning. Um, this is Santos Caperdan Jr. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and click also the notification bell. Okay, now uh, with my previous videos, I tie entitled How to Become a BMS Engineer Part 2. Now, uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss the BMS data point schedule okay, or BMS DPS. Now, now, how are you going to engineer a BMS project? First, you have to secure the tender document. So what I have here in my screen is the technical specification of a certain project. Okay, actually this project is a five-star hotel. Okay, now as you can see in my screen, the document entitled technical specification volume three, division 21 to 33. Okay, again, as I said, the specification documents, a PDF file is composed of thousands of pages. Okay. Now you have to go specifically to the division. In this case, the division for uh, building automation is division 25. So it shows 21 to 33. So this is issue for construction. So based on this document, you will define and finalize your data point schedule, okay? So let me go through with this document, okay? Now, so division 25, uh, so integrated automation. Okay, then section 25.0100, it will show you there the operation and maintenance integrated operation. Okay, then section 25.0900, that is the specific uh, specification for building automation system. Okay, so you have to go to division 25, then section 0900. Now, okay, now in this one, you have already a bus point mechanical and bus point mechanical bus point electrical so you have three uh, section here that will show you the building automation point for mechanical system or mechanical equipment then bus point for electrical system okay now if you are a bms engineer for this project you are very lucky because there is already a bms points defined in the specification so what happened if there is no BMS DPS in the specification. Of course, you have to start from the scratch. You will be the one to get all this necessary information so you can define your own uh, BMS data points schedule. Okay, so for this uh, project, there is already a defined BMS DPS. Okay, so so building automation system, general drawings and general provision of the contract, including general and supplementary condition. Okay, it will give you also the description. Then that is based on the description, it will give you also the scope, supply and install a complete interoperable IP based. Okay, so they are requiring an IP based open integrated automation system. When you say IP based, that is internet protocol. Okay, now, operation and monitoring of mechanical and electrical system in the building. So what are these uh, systems, HVAC? So that is uh, heating, ventilating, air conditioning, plumbing, plumbing, fire protection and fire alarm detection, electrical lifts or elevators, standby generators, okay? Now it will give you the requirements, okay? Now, so let's go directly to the uh, defined DPS, bus DPS, okay. Now this is the defined DPS in the specification, okay. So I have here as some of the uh, DPS, okay. So first uh, we can see here, actually this is for mechanical as shown in the screen. So first item here is the HBAC. So HBAC is, uh, stands for heating, ventilating and conditioning, okay. Now, so chiller plant manager, so they need one quantity, one quantity for chiller plant manager, okay? Now, in this chiller plant manager, it will control how many air cold chillers. So you can see here, air cold chillers, nine. So there are nine units of air cold chillers, okay? So what are the points? Status, flow switch, trouble, auxiliary contact, power consumption, start stop, maintenance software based, uh, motorized valve or AC embed. Okay, now you can see here the manual operator initiated command. What are the manual operator initiated command? 
these are the things that you need to provide when you are the one to do the uh, system. So system display. Okay. Now what you need to do here is you will look for the X marks. Okay. So for air cooled chiller, nine units, you have an X mark in the ampere load. Okay. So if you are the BMS engineer, you will ask yourself, what is this ampere load? Does it mean that I need to show in my BMS graphics the current load of each chiller? Okay, so that maybe that is what they need. So you have to verify also this from the consultant. Okay, so what are the X mark uh, in the air cold chiller? Again, I have here load shed. Okay, so meaning if you are going to do the chiller plant manager, so you have to provide the load shedding, automatic load shedding, okay? So then also this chiller optimization. So again, you have to provide the chiller optimization, okay? Now, okay, status, status on up trip. Okay, so in your BMS graphics or in your chiller plant uh, manager graphics, you have to show the on up trip then the status, meaning of if this killer is running or if it's in if it is in stop mode, okay. Then flow switch, okay. Now you have to provide flow switch. It should be a display in your graphics. Then temperature, okay. You have to show also the temperature flow in. Okay, you have to show the flow in US gallon per minute, okay. Then pressure, you have to show the pressure. Analog high limit, analog low limit, critical alarm, maintenance alarm, okay. Then trouble luxury contact, okay. So as a BMS engineer, you have to go in details and try to know and learn what are these X marks, okay. Because as you, if you are the engineer, you have to provide what is being asked from this data points schedule, okay? Now, if there is some question in your mind, you can always raise a query or ask question uh, to the consultant, okay? Now, this is the uh, project specification bus DPS. Now, as a BMS engineer, you have to create your own, okay? Because this DPS will reflect or will guide you for your controller selection, uh, field device selection, and everything that you need to provide as per requirement of the project, okay? So uh, actually this uh, BMS data point schedule is a very big uh, scope, a very big topic to discuss in this tutorial. So I am just giving you a bird's eye view on how you are going to define your own BMS data point schedule if you, if you are the BMS engineer, okay? So for the time being, uh, this is the things that I need to discuss for this video. If you have any question, you can jot down your comments, then I will try to supplement you with uh, further details about this data points schedule, okay? Once again, thank you very much for watching this uh, short video clips and hope uh, it will give you an idea how to define and finalize your BMS data point schedule. So bye for now. Thank you very much for watching this video.